taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into... Hey, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. We got a special guest in the house today. Our boy, our man. Mikey Fenoya. Hey, guys. Comedian, friends, brother, fish fan. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, a uh, new special uh, coming out, coming out, out. Don't let me down. This is dropping October, November 9th. Oh, so this is before that. Yes, November 9th special on YouTube. Right now it's on 800 Pound Gorilla, pay what you want, but it'll be free on YouTube November 9th. Well, then I think they got to go watch it now and pay what they want. Sure, but or also because watch of it five times on YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, watch it, pay you to watch it, and then go click it thirty-five thousand times. <laughs> Only because so I can get of booked. my terrible schedule, I have like five specials I have to watch in the bank. One is completely yours. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Believe me, it's with everybody. But I will say, I saw clips of it. And I saw it. Thank looks you. Gorgeous. I appreciate it. I gorgeous. did it at Fairfield Theater Company. Did it all myself, DIY. Yeah. Went in there. Don't tell everybody that. Don't tell every comedian we know. How you did this? Because no, 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 it's it's insane. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, but I did a pretty amazing thing. He he has a I will. I mean, it's let's talk about it. Yeah, he he, he was able to put this whole thing together for an amount. That it it look it's on. I mean, it looks like unbelievable, and it was for I think like the cheapest special I've heard someone do is probably like five six times less than that mm -hmm. like and it's not even you just found the right venue the right people the right this got you know and it came together and i'm telling you man yeah like yeah i'm telling you, you I, I i have never heard anyone do it and it looked that good for what you did before. thank you yeah. and i'm very uh I, i'm not a, i'm not i never use the word i'm proud of anything I'm proud of this good you That's should great. be yeah you, you know I, I i don't ever have that feeling but i did all of it like start to finish yeah helped the editing the Audio picking, everything, the lights, all of it. It worked out great. I worked with Candy from New York Comedy Club on it. She helped a ton. Shout but it, I'm really stoked yep. for it. So, yeah, thank um, you. Yeah, and so, I mean, if you, Mike, you were on, a, what episode did we do last time? Was it lunch, lunch versus dinner? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Mike yeah. is a returning uh, uh, guest, obviously. And also, if you've toured with me or or the Tenderloin, or the Impractical Jokers, Mike, you've worked seen on him on tour show. with us for years. Mike worked on the show for many years. Uh, I think might still be, uh, yep. I can't say anything, but. Uh, Beautiful. No, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I, did you talk? Was there anything left? That's offline. It's all off offline. I don't know if I'm anything, just going to sit here and ruminate on that. that you had to no. do. We're, we're, huh? I don't know if there's anything banked that you had or if there's going to be something else. Again, yeah. I, we'll, we'll figure that sure. out. Sure. We'll figure it out. Later. Absolutely. Cool. So, any, all right. So, <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about, but sure. I'm not sure I do either, but yeah, no. It's Inside right. jokes with the fact bubbles pop up. You know That's what it is? Show. It's like Ozzy Osbourne and uh, whatever, and, and the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what That's you were talking about. That's a callback to last episode. I, he was talking it was perfectly fine. A lot of analogies. smack in the last. You know what? I, I realized that you didn't say anything about in the first episode. I was waiting. I didn't want to call it out myself. I'm your brother in jorts today. Oh yeah, Check I didn't that notice out, that babe. either. Wow. So what? You're coming around on these things? I mean, I've had these for years. I just I have two pairs of jorts. By the way, These, brothers in George, it's October. It's eighty-four degrees outside. It is disgusting. The world, out. the world is crumbling. Yeah, something's something's very weird. I flew out thir Friday during when everything was flooding. Literally pulled into JFK and it was like, "Don't leave your house." Yeah. When the deluge hit and yeah. like Brooklyn was under a like it was insane. And then flying home from Fort Lauderdale, Jeez. Fort Lauderdale was flooded. Yeah. I mean, literally, there's you guys just get impacted by that the flooding? Anyone? Anybody? No. Downtown by the entrance to the tunnel. Oh, oh yeah! I saw some clips. How'd you like it? Awesome, right? Did you ride bikes? Of course. Yep. I was worried that it was going to hurt the bar because the bar is yes, yes, nothing, out. nothing. Thank wow, God. that's Thank wild. I was thinking drop. about that. Yeah, not a drop. I thought about the cellar. I thought about a lot of places. So that would many just of be my like, friends well, tweeted me, picture, texted me pictures of out right outside their windows or their buildings, and dude, it was like soup. We were yeah. those cars just yeah. floating. It was ridiculous. We were at Skankfest. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, we got to get into that a little and bit. And Paul Italia, my business partner, was also there because the stand did. Shout out to the stand. Shout out to Skankfest. The stand uh, sponsored Skank, was one of the sponsors, so they had a so cool. room called the Stand Room at uh, Skankfest. Anyway, we're at the, we're in I, the green room. I was on room. the road. I, I'm sorry I missed it, but apparently 
This was so, one for the absolute ages, possibly the greatest, greatest funnest one ever. Most greatest stand-up weekend of my life ever. Wow. I got to hear about this show that you Slash and I did. also uh, just vac- like as a vacation, just fun thing. So it was, didn't, it didn't it was the vacation like I wanted all summer. I actually went to Skankfest for work and ended up having the release and fun of the vacation. So let's talk there. about that a little bit before but, we get into the battles. But anyway, uh, we're Paul and I are in the green room, and it's like it's like t- t- midnight Vegas time. Sure. So, like, to- so then midnight? So we're pretty toasty. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying on the East Coast, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> okay, yeah. And uh, we're, we're all pretty toasty at this point. And we're talking. I'm talking to some people. He's like across the room, and I'm talking to some people about the floods. And I go, yeah, I look crazy, man. And somebody goes, is your bar okay? And I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally turn, and I, I scream. like, this. I go, Paul, did our bar get flooded? He goes, no. <laughs> I was like, Joe, okay, we're good. I wonder how many Vegas lives start like that. Like midnight in Vegas, everything's fucked at home. And you're like, I think I'm just going to stay here yeah, now. Really. It didn't even dawn on me. I, I was so up yeah, in I think the skank Vegas fest is a place people just stay. Yeah. Um, so you went Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Is Thursday, that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> wow. Four nights? You, sl- you had four yes. sleeps there. Brother, I'm not lying. I slept for two hours on Friday night. Oh, I slept uh, for three it makes me hours. Even sick to hear it. I know. I slept for three hours on Friday. Thursday night, I slept for two hours. For Friday, I slept for three, and then Saturday and Sunday, I slept like regular. The question: You, you guys have. I, I got some ears on you guys. Are you are you still in the phase where? Okay. Oh, I only got four hours sleep last night. I still I still go out the next hour, run a gun, this and that, the other. Are you still in that phase? No. You are. Yeah. Why not? Because yeah, you're young. Exactly. Uh, no, I, I agree. I was there. Um, you are not. You're saying you're not. You no, you I need. Just, I just went to a wedding this past weekend. I was asleep. I won. Okay, so you don't if you don't have one of those nights out like dancing, kicking your heels off, whatever that you do. I, yeah, I do, <laughs> but it's like it's and rare. It, it, the soda but fountain but on the way back, home. It hurts you the next day. <laughs> yeah, oh, because there's not there's not even it's not even in the cards for me anymore to not get a certain amount of sleep. Exactly, really? because it's worth more than anything else. Yep, really. Do yes, you have yeah. a regiment in your life? I Shocked do. to hear it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, listen, dude, I'm not... Dude, I'm, dude, I mean, I'm rubbing your glue. I don't know what to say no, to you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm similar. I need a good night's sleep. I'm not a guy that's like, I'll burn the candle at birth end, both ends. I don't care. Like, I'm not... Well, I burn the candle at both ends, but that's why I need to sleep. Right. You know, but I, I have departed but, from... Obviously, you know, you, you're still a, a man about town. But I'm telling you something. That, not, I'm not a man about I'm, not, I'm a man about me, suburbs. Yeah. Had you told me going into it, that's what you're gonna do, I would have said, I, I, no, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I would have panicked. I'm so excited what happened to was, hear about this I was thing. there. Yeah. And the first night. <sighs> well, I heard, I we heard at, this. Was, I heard there was, was <laughs> I heard there were, I heard there were shows for the record books. I heard that yes. you might have uh, been involved with uh, possibly meeting a lady. I heard there was. <laughs> Tattoos. I heard there was, and I got to hear this show that you and Ari put up that I heard was one of the funniest and best shows ever conceived and created. And I want to know details. So about this it. is the story I'll tell about the first night. Okay. We we got we got there. Me, Ari, Steve Renazizi. So just for our listeners, Skankfest is yeah. a comedy festival uh, that the most. I guess Louis J. Gomez, Rebecca Trent, Rebecca and Christine, Trent and Christine Evans, Evans. Um, who. From this the, the uh, Legion the of Skanks podcast created about creek five in the years cave ago, yeah, yeah. a creek in the cave exactly. It's kind of this like alternative, like kind of punk rock kind of thing that independent independent festival, very independent um, that yeah. has just yeah. gained steam because it's like four comics by comics and everyone. It's a love fest, right? Yeah, and it was yeah. a couple of years in Brooklyn, best yeah. fans, and then and it's gotten bigger and, and bigger. Texas, it started it started over Houston, here, Houston. It started over here in yeah. Long Island City, right? Yeah. I that's did the fans. first one. It was yeah. just okay. That's, that's the um, okay. That's the alarm. Oh, All right. So, pimp, what is happening to us? Going to happen to us now? Nothing. It was some dumb conspiracy, like Y two K part two. This is a test. Yeah, everybody's that's phone it? was going to ring at two twenty. Yeah. All right, because you said something was going to happen. Well, to us? I, I've spe- they said at the same time the hydron collider was going to do some experiment. I don't know the hydron collider. Some, what the hell is that? Some crazy conspiracy online. Is it space uh, camp? Is it? Are we good? Uh, let's check in in a few minutes. Okay. 
weird. <laughs> Pimp, do it while we're talking. Just scan the internet. <laughs> just no just let us know. Just, just, just do I need to call know. my mother? <laughs> see, just, just put in trending and just see. And I want you to remember last episode when I said, I'm worried that my wrist is numb because of the eye watch. And you said, there's no way that's possible. Look at what just happened. <laughs> Literally. Happened? Everybody's the phone time... across the country rang at the same time. Do you oh, remember gosh. last time that yeah. happened was like Trump was just like, hey, just texting you now just to let you know I can do it. You guys remember that? No. Yeah, yeah, we just got a text across all our phones. It was like, "This is the White House. What's up?" Wow. Like, like, yeah, that's the last time I got like a group um, silver alert. So, so we got to we got to move because we had a lot to cover good, here. But, but, but we, um, we, uh, I like to keep it timely. The, but we, but, but we anyway. Got, Yes, there's. You, 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 it always feels like you're in a rush. I want you to settle in. Let's you have, have a chat because no, you have no concept of time. I do. None. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. We We're got, literally we got two battles in the final. I mean, what it, the? Are F? they testing it over and over, or something no. happening that we should be they knowing? Everybody's phones are different. They're probably different carriers. Okay. The TV is your not watch going to explode? <laughs> The Yo, hell? the first night of any anything multi-night, you always go, I'm going to go easy, and yeah. you go balls to the I wall, went, I went, no matter what. So, so it, it started me, Ari, Ren is easy, Tommy Pope, uh, I think that's it. No, somebody else was there. I'm blanking. Don't get lost on the details. Anyway, um, we went to dinner at like 6. I met Ari at five. Mm -hmm. Started drinking with Ari. We we sit down at dinner. We get we get the steakhouse. We start getting bottles of wine and stuff. Then we go to the opening night party. Hey, you opened with wine? We're no. I opened with Ari with whiskeys, and then we got martinis at the oh bar in the God. steakhouse. And then we sat down and started drinking wine. Then we went to the party, and we were <sighs> drinking. We went back to hard liquor. Oof. Then they had an after party. Can't do it anymore. Yeah. Every night. See, this is your mistake. Though. Ten years, I, I was behind the bar. Ten years. But I this didn't. is your mistake, though. You can't do skank fest like that. You got to go with the flow. I'll go with the flow. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I love people that go, oh, God, shots. I can't do it. Let me smoke an entire joint to the head. I'm sorry. In, 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 in I'm between sorry. the six I'm drinks I had. Yeah. I'm yeah. in Virginia Slims. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Fair enough. Anyway, so we... Uh, that was we, a Paul Mall he was yeah. smoking. Anyway, we go to the after party, and Lewis is like... We're doing every the night. after party? The, the party. The oh, so you didn't have party. any spots open. No, party. I didn't have any spots right. open. So Lewis goes, the after party every night is at Peppermint Hippo Strip Club. And we're going to. Spearmint Rhino? No, Peppermint Hippo. What? No. I, I've heard of. Yeah. Wow. So There's a new large animal with a minty twist on the block. <laughs> Wait until the butterscotch anyway, zebra I opens. <laughs> I literally can't tell this whole story. It's going to take literally 35 Joe, minutes. Okay. So it's going to take just, too long. Just tell an abridged version. You know, a lot of the pod gets taken up with you saying what you can't do and how much we have to hurry up, and less with the details that we're all craving. Okay. All right. No, it's okay. We'll we'll calibrate. Let. Yeah. Fine. Fair enough. I want you to relax. Good. Have a good time. I. I, I want to. I. I'm very interested in this weekend. I'm sure people are too. It's a big big. That's thing. your attitude. Well, this is also going to come out a month and a half later. But nobody knows the details. <laughs> It's not like they're getting the details elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, they got it's their fun, details are out. It's a fun. <laughs> it's a fun romp. The details are out. Pip knew what happened, but when I walked in the room, it's today. a fun romp of a weekend that you had. Take anyway, us on the ride. I'm going to take you on part of the ride. We uh, we went to the. We then got bussed to the strip club. We were in the <laughs> strip club dancing. I started spending. Is, is we all the st uh, staff and comedians yeah. in the festival? Is that yeah, what yeah, we yeah. is? All yeah. right. I'm just so I start spending. What I can only refer to as an ungodly amount of money at the strip club. They got this, you. That's how they get you. This yeah. night ended with... Did you think that one of them really liked you? No. Okay. Were no. you going to pay for her law school? Yeah. No. I was just in the zone. I didn't. I was like, whatever. What this zone, is, Joe, were you in? The strip club zone. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Shit-faced. I was having a it blast. It was called hippopotamus. What is it? This is the... The uh, minty... The minty... All right, guys. Minty. <laughs> Where the hell is this? This, Looks hold like you're on, in a guys, mall. stop. Hold on. Guys, this is why I don't want to tell the story. We're digressing in eight directions in four parts of the room. Let me just tell the story. Please. I'll get to this. All Let right, me just Joe. tell. You got it, baby. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. I'm telling I'm you a story here. I've been focused All since right, the beginning. Listen to me. So we go to the strip club. This night ends uh, at 5.30 in the morning. <sighs> I, 
this is why I don't want to tell the story. He wants to hear the story. <laughs> tell and me. Through, the, through the whole thing, he wants to go, oh, this sounds so tell awful. Tell me. Tell oh. me the story, Joe. I think it sounds awful. 5.30 in the morning. I just got the shivers of thinking if I stayed up till 5.30. It has nothing to do I with your story. Up at I'm excited about your story. I want to hear I about it. I take up. nothing away from you being and the night ending I wasn't there. Up. I can't have a semi quiet reaction to something that you have to stop down and chastise me. I'll I mean, let's go to the. Let's go to the. Let's go to the. Let's go to Let's go to Waldorf anyway. and Statler over here. <laughs> Was that unwarranted? Was that unwarranted? Maybe a little bit. Thank, Thank you. you. Pip. Wait, me? He means you. No. no. Well, Ventia said no. Me? He was, me going, oof, uh, was it enough for him to be like, that's why I don't want to tell this story. You're going to say, I don't know. All right. Yeah, hey, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I thought I Who could do just feel my of? feelings I'm as you told the story. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell the story. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning, this, the, the night ends. Yes. And? No, the night doesn't end. This is what I'm getting at. And nor was I awake is what I'm getting at. I'm, he's out. 5.30 a.m. I am woken up in the corner of the strip club by two strippers. All my friends have left. I'm the only one still there. And then I am coerced by those two strippers to then get another $600 worth of lap dances. They woke you up for Which more I happily did. Wow. Right, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Everyone has left you. Yes. You fell asleep. You're alone. Yes. You've been abandoned. Yes. You're in a place of business still. Yes. You get nudged awake from a slumber. Two by two. And you wake up and then by you, two, go, you, get, you take Venmo? And then you take $600 <laughs> and you go back into it. They're the two most beautiful women I've ever been <laughs> woken up by at 5.30 in the morning in a public love place. It. Wow. So I go, I, I, by the way, this is the night where I'm just on the iWatch. I leave. I go outside to call an Uber. I realize the Uber app has been removed from the iWatch. I can't get an Uber. I'm like, God damn it, man. So I'm outside. It's 6.15. Oh, you got to wait on that terrible line? It's 6.15. I'm standing just on a median. Cab the, line? No, no cab line. I'm just trying to find is a Is it cab. off the strip? Oh, we're like way downtown. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're not. No, yeah, we're not on the strip. We're but like, usually they have cabs pull up. Not at 6.15, they don't. All right, uh, well, yeah, well, at six fifteen, you're kind of on your own okay. at that point. Yeah. So, do you have a handle on what you spent that night in total? No, oh, yeah. You want to give rather, it? No, no, I'd rather not say. Well, you already just told us you I got woken up and spent six hundred dollars. I said it on Legion of Skanks. And I pa I attempted to pass a bucket around to to, to recollect to make the, the money back. I saw we, a picture of it. Uh, are we over for the night? Are we over fifteen hundred? Yes. Oh. Six hundred on the on, on just <laughs> wow, dude. He got he put he hit snooze and paid six hundred. <laughs> yeah. You're I'm wondering are, when the are, are you over? Are you over? <laughs> Wait, this is this is all got to be for the women. You didn't drink this kind of. I know the drinks are well, twenty five dollars. Some of it was drinks because when you went back, a drink, right? when you went back for lap day, they'd be like, "You got to buy the girl a drink. You have to buy two drinks." It'd be like you fifty don't have to bucks. Do anything. Show me in the contract where it mm. says that. Well, you tell the six hundred uh, pound tell them. Uh, uh, bouncer that that I'll you tell don't them. Wanna... I'll tell yeah, them. Yeah, I don't have to buy anyone uh, anything. I'm happy to uh, to to support the the woman and get this exchange barter this so, exchange. Yeah, but I support the. Uh, why arts. do I have to? Why do I have to uh, hydrate her? So here's why. <laughs> here's where the no. Your sleep employer should come provide them. Okay. I go, I get back to my hotel room. It's seven a.m. Can I just ask one thing? Yes. How was it that they just left you asleep? Like, why wouldn't they say, wake up, come with us? We had all sort of lost track of one another in this place. Understood. Everybody kind of went off in their own okay. direction. <laughs> <laughs> you, chose a, you chose a corner to curl it was up like in. The, it was like the Six Flags Safari. Were yeah. you at the hippo? Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. It like spirit, peppermint hippo. Do you okay. remember falling asleep at all? Do I remember? At, when Sleepy you Joe asleep? made an appearance. No, I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to be honest. We I don't know seen, why. No, we haven't seen Sleepy Joe in yeah. quite some time. Yeah, I don't he know went why. So Sleepy Joe is back. Sleepy so Joe tired. is back. So I get back to the room. It's like 7 a.m. I'm just like, oh, God damn it. And I go to sleep. And at 10 a.m., my phone rings because I, I had it on silent, but I didn't realize it was ringing to my iPad was set up. Uh -huh. This thing blares. I'm like, oh, my God, what is that? It was so loud. And uh, I look, and it's Alex from Legion of Skanks. Okay. The producer. Okay. And I'm like, oh, shit, what is this? Like, what? what is, oh, man, what is this? This is something to do with the festival. So I answer. She's like, do you want to come do Legion of Skanks to kick off at 12 p.m.? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so I get out of bed. I'm like, How'd you find the 
wherewithal? Baby, it's Vegas. I'm like, let's go. This is where this is but you weren't, the men but you from weren't the boys. Hung over to the point of sh the shakes, the nausea, the headache, like I can't get up. I wasn't shaking or anything. I didn't feel great. I went to the green room. I saw Dave Smith. I so, sat with him. We we started having a whiskey. All right. At so like that was eleven forty five AM. Okay. But you Oof. spent basically a uh, Dodge Neon's worth of money at the strip club. <laughs> yeah. And then you also had two hours sleep. Yeah. So the combination of the Dodge Neon worth of liquor and the two hours sleep, you were still functioning? I was like, All right, I'm gonna do this bit with the bucket. Okay. And I'm gonna this is gonna be funny. Okay. And like I'm gonna all right, this is gonna be great. Okay. So then I go I do Legion of Skanks. That's a story in and of itself that I can't. That we trust me, we don't have the time. Okay. Just believe me on that. I believe the, you. The uh, all right. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying. Just trust me. Uh, <laughs> that night, we do shows. That night, it was. Sh it was amazing. It was just. I did what your. With Jay, I did the crowd mic. It was amazing. All the shit, energy blast. was good. Vibe was good. The shows are great. I did it. Everyone's banging on all cylinders. Yeah. There's a buzz going on. Exactly. Show, fun show after fun show. Stand all the friends are there. Yeah, I did a, a stand-up show that night, and then I did what you Then And then that night, we went out. It was cr and I went out with Emilio that night. Yeah. Me, Emilio, and Tone Bell and TJ Miller ended up at a place on the strip. Tone Bell was on the on Yeah, the, yeah, on yeah. The Oh, awesome. We ended up on the strip somewhere. At f f like four a.m., and we got a we got table service at this place. The dance floor was empty, and Tone was dancing by himself <laughs> for an hour. Wow! We got bottle service. We went upstairs. We were gambling. Next thing I know, dude, it's nine a.m., and I'm like, Oh my god! Don't son of have a, bitch. a reaction. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say don't have a reaction. I'm doing it in my shirt. Holy shit! No, yeah. but just let him talk. I go back. I go to bed. <laughs> That was another one of those nights. Me, we all went to the. Me, TJ, Paul went to uh, Aaron Berg. We went to a steakhouse, and we. It was that's how the night started before the shows, and I was like, we were just off to the races. Let me ask a question. Anyway. Vegas, uh, there's sometimes there's a festival in a place where the places are all like you know four, five, three blocks from each other. Everyone's walking around, it, and you're seeing Vegas is way bigger. So. If it seems to me like like remember they had the um, in Brooklyn I think it was the Skank Fest where it was in like the same three buildings yeah. and it was contained. So yes. okay. But this is like oh it's probably all over the place right? No, no, it was in this comp that that complex. Oh, so so the full festival what it's was called. in one area. Yeah, there's a complex, okay. and then inside that complex is a multi-roomed okay. venue. Great. that has tons of rooms in it. Okay, like tons. Um. So and then they do stuff down in the courtyard of the complex itself. Okay. And down in the courtyard it looks like Thunderdome. You're surrounded by open Yeah, the pictures are incredible. Hallways and okay. stuff, right? That go up three stories. So the shows were just amazing. The stand-up shows were incredible. Um the crowds were incredible. I did what's your I did uh you know what dude live with Bobby like it, it was um the we, crowds were, you were scheduled just on these or was everyone just you were just jumping on Most shows? of it was scheduled, okay. but here or there you'd pop on something. But People are running on stage and stuff, and it was it's wild, right? The crowds are they, they 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 this thing has grown over the years with Legion of Skanks. It's it comes from Legion of Skanks, but it's bled into Skankfest itself. Like you'll be on stage just doing a set, and like you'll have a joke that hits, and the crowd starts chanting your name. It's like it's like comedy wrestling. It's wild, <laughs> and the nicest, sweetest. The most endearing fans, fans ever. Like, yeah. like happy to be there. None of it feels like none of it. When I say chanting and stuff, people are like, "Oh, is it like aggressive?" It's like, no, it's awesome. It's like, all love. It's yeah. so lo it's yeah. beautiful. They're happy to be there, and they're happy that there's such access to the to a lot of their favorite comics, and it's kind of like a love fest, really, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people can be intimidated by just what the skanks do on their podcast and what yes. what the assumption of a lot of their fans are. Yes. But it kind of bucks that kind of stereotype. Yes. Right? So uh, last night, me and Ari did. So the footage you saw was the very end of the festival, which was the last event was the goddamn comedy jam. That's a very lovely woman I met on uh, Legion of Skanks, who uh, I will say I had an encounter with. Uh, because <laughs> the details are going to sidetrack us way too much right now. <laughs> she's just going to have to trust me on that. Uh, but she's wonderful. Her name's Nikki Fox. Anyway. How many times uh, did, you did you encounter her? 
Just once, okay. but we had a great time. <laughs> but this was in Twice the during that once. <laughs> this was in the courtyard, and there were people filling the all the way up, standing on oh, the rails. That's cool. And that's then, like that scene from Cocktail. Yeah, and then a sea yeah. of people around the stage, and we did the comedy jam. I did Time of My Life from Dirty Dancing. It was it was insane. It was yeah, insane. Um, that was how the festival ended. Um, and then. Um, not with me singing. I just mean with this event. And then um, before this, though, is when Ari and I did our secret show. Okay. Let's get into it. It was called... Secret show I meaning... I can't give you... You're not getting... The only details I'll give you are this. It was called Ari and Joe shit on any comedian you tell us I know. To. That's why I want to know details. No. That's not how the show works. You had to be there. No phones. Nothing leaks from the room. Okay. I wish you would have... Yeah. Okay. So you could tell me off air. No. That's <laughs> not how the show works. <laughs> give me a break. No, that's uh, not how the show uh, just works. Just call me Nell Carter and give me a break. All right? <laughs> no, the show is a secret show. Did you? Did people know what the title of the show was? Yes. So why was and it, it was secret? it was jam-packed, Why baby. was it secret? We policed the room for phones. No, no, I mean, how was it? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. You mean secret as, as far as nothing gets out of the room. Nothing leaves this room. Okay. Well, you were in Vegas. Hence the anonymity for us to feel free to shit on whoever they said, let sh who who you shit, you know, we picked it, 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 we picked people. And if they you think that when this ends, mm -hmm. you're not going to tell me all the details right I'm over here. You have another thing coming. <laughs> when this ends, I'm getting out of here 45 minutes after I needed to today. When this ends, <laughs> no, no. I, 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 uh, we're 35 I, I minutes veto. late, and we, we still haven't even started the damn battles yet. Joe DeRosa hey. sings "I Had the Time of My Life" with a trans woman he jacked off and came on during Skankfest. Wow, <laughs> guys, we're listen. Uh, uh, I love you. We're, uh, we're, we're you know so what? You're right. Butterfinger, go. Well, I told you I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I told you uh, we're uh, going to get too digressed with this. Right, babe, relax. We're not going into it. Folks, I want to talk to you about Game Time, a favorite sponsor here at the Taste Buds podcast. I love going to events, all kinds of events. Uh, usually for me, it's music, but I also do go see comedy shows. Believe it or not, folks, an established comic like me still pays his way in once in a while. You know what I mean? Uh, and I will go to the occasional sporting event, even, even though I'm not a huge sports fan. Theater. Oh, I like theater. Anyway, here's my point. Because my schedule is crazy, I don't like to buy tickets way in advance because I'm always afraid something's going to come up and I won't be able to go to the show. I love Game Time for this reason. Game Time helps you get the last-minute tickets so you're not feeling pressure to buy these things in advance. And when you're buying them last minute with Game Time, they're letting you know you're getting the best available ticket for the best available price. They're showing you what it's going to look like from where you're sitting. You just know everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, I, I, you know, what can I say? It's just a great service for somebody who doesn't like to commit. And boy, is that me. Anyway, last-minute tickets. Flash deals, zone deals, uh, and they're easy to find. And, you know, it's the, the lowest price, again, guaranteed, event cancellation protection, job loss protection, etc. So check it out. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code TasteBuds for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code TasteBuds, T A S T E B U D S, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Folks, if you want to hear a phrase that goes something like, where'd you get that this holiday season? You're going to want to look into Uncommon Goods. Uncommon Goods is your secret weapon. Here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for a secret Santa which, by the way, I get involved in Secret Santas, uh, usually at Christmas. I get involved in a Pollyanna with uh, my family. It's hard to find a gift for a certain price that you think will be unique uh, that doesn't look like you just wandered randomly into a generic store and bought anything that fit the price point. Here's where Uncommon Goods is going to know exactly what you're shopping for uh, and, and provide you exactly what you want. How, again by giving you access to some truly unique, cool stuff. I found a whiskey-making kit. Uh, I found hot sauce. I found a really cool uh, popcorn bowl, uh, journals, 
uh, all kinds of cool, interesting office type stuff, uh, just lifestyle gifts uh, that are that are very unique and very cool. They take that sort of thing you might find again in in a store somewhere, you know, along your travels as you traverse the malls or whatever, and they give you the most cool and interesting version of that thing. And that's what I really like. And then there's stuff on there that you're not going to find in any mall or anywhere. You're only going to find it uh, by them providing it to you from these unique uh, providers they're getting this stuff from. Anyway, uh, they're giving you the most unique version of these things. Why? Because you're getting them from from support artists the, by shopping at uncommon goods you're supporting artists instead of big box stores you're supporting you're supporting independent businesses uh, these fine products are often made in small patches so you know it's something truly unique that you're getting that you're not going to find at the mall all right so shop now before these things sell out and get it for the holiday season all right uncommon goods products that are uh, high quality that are unique and often handmade in the United States. Uh, and they just, I don't know, they have meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts. I just think it's very cool. Anyway, get 15% off of your next gift. Go to uncommongoods.com slash taste buds. That's uncommongoods.com slash taste buds for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited-time offer. Uncommon Goods, we are all out of the ordinary. I will say this to you. Please. Even though I previously said that I could not tell you anything that took place in the secret show. Yes. A lot of what was said, I've already expressed to you in text messages. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I was a topic of conversation. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I expressed it to you about you. I'm saying uh -oh. I've expressed it to you in text messages about <laughs> other comedians. <laughs> over, the, over the... Yeah, I know. That's why yeah. I'm like, tell me. I want to see what came out in the wash. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, let's get to the battle. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. There's more skank. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. We anyway, can. okay. Uh, so, Mike, we've been doing the congrats again on the special. Thank you. We've been doing a candy bracket uh, for Halloween. Uh, yeah, we it, so explain this. Yeah, right? I will say yeah. though because we we've done powerhouse candies in the past. So if you're saying how does this not make the tournament, we didn't want to repeat candy. So we 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 took eight ones that we haven't done before. And uh, the last bat, the last ones, and just refresh my memory, was Nestle Crunch versus Hershey with almonds. Ooh, Nestle Crunch won that. Yes, it was Butterfinger versus Take Five. I would go Take Five. I would too. It got. Trounced by Butterfinger. Yes. Shocking. Yeah. We did Junior Mints versus Rolo. Junior Mints. I would too. It got trounced ah. by Rolo. And the last one was Milky Way versus Peanut Butter Twix. Milky Way. Really? Yeah, I'm not a peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter. Oh, wait. Peanut Butter Twix is just regular Twix. No. Regular Twix just doesn't have the peanut butter. It has caramel. Ah. Yeah, I think I would have went with. I'll tell you what they did. I, I they don't did like mess up with those. peanut butter Twix. They used to be a vanilla cookie bar in inside. They changed it to a chocolate. I'd and give, that I will agree was a misstep. I would but give both of those. I away. lost. Yeah. I lost. Yeah. The only thing I won was Crunch. I love Nestle so, Crunch. So uh, he won. So his Butterfinger, Rolo, and Milky Way are all his. But now we reseeded. Okay. And now it's going to be uh, Cr Nestle Crunch versus Milky Way. Yes. Right. Okay. And Butterfinger versus Rolo. Okay. Yes. And then the two winners are obviously it's the finale. Sure. And the reason we paired them like this was because we argued last episode what the better combination of things was: Butterfinger, I mean, sorry, peanut butter and chocolate or caramel and chocolate. Sadly, both my choices won, so I have to pick. I mean, geez, we. Well, wait a minute. Who would you take in this battle? I would take Butterfinger. Over Rolo. Yeah. I think Rolo just, it's not enough to it for me to get excited. Even Butterfinger, even though I don't like it because I hate the way it feels in my teeth, yeah. at least it feels like it has some substance what to it. What is Butterfinger? I mean, because I would absolutely We take, don't know. We think it's tree bark. I would, take, <laughs> I would take Milky Way over the Nestle Crunch any day of the week. I, well, I, I still would take Nestle. In that of, of course, yeah. yeah. Can I say Butterfinger is probably the only candy that, while eating it, I'm like, I'm so sick of this goddamn candy. <laughs> oh, that's a really good like, point. Like, I literally, because I'll eat Rolos It's a till, decent sized bar. They're, they are big and bars. And then by the time you're about halfway through, you're like, I've had enough of whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, yeah. is this glue stick yeah. I'm eating? I don't I, like it. I, even though I won with Butterfinger and I also won with Rolo, I have to take Rolo in this just to be a man of my word because I said that the caramel and chocolate combo was better than the peanut butter chocolate combo. Okay. And I love Butterfinger. 
But I will say that Rolo has t- has held a special place in my life. When I was a kid, it was my favorite uh, candy ever. <laughs> Joe, it, can we, I ask a young in boy. the comments if Rolo was ever a special thing in your life? Talk about it in the comments and tell us like why. <laughs> tell us why. Is it because I, there's more than just one? You know what it's, I'm saying? It's, it's that. Yes. Okay. So I, I I will say I do like the fact that like almost like um. Almost like a Mentos or something. Yes. That as a kid, you could throw it in your jean jacket, have a couple, then put it away and have a couple later. And yeah, stuff. it's like you it's can't like really put a bar kids. back in the wrapper once you do it, no. unless they go back to the foil. I think that uh, <laughs> somebody wrote Rolo repugnance only lives once. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The, uh, no, okay, so here were things that I liked about the Rolo as a kid. Okay. I liked that it, first of all, had a, it had a, the, the, the logo. And the gold foil gave it a classiness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gold foil it, is nice on anything. It's really. like the Ferrero Rocher of yeah. children. There's something about Rolo. Like, Rolo's look very, like, the way it's designed, it looks very 1980s. Like, it would be next to, like, a bottle of cognac with, like, cigars and stuff. Yeah. There's something about that design that's very 80s, like, businessman-y. Okay. So I like that about it. But I, it was that, there, and then it's obviously the chocolate and caramel. But I also did like that there was more than one. I had a big thing as a kid with my snacks. Yeah. Uh, I was really obsessed with the idea of like my food functioning like the way like adult food functioned. Like, like, what do you like, mean by that? Like, like, <laughs> like, like, what, what do you think he means? By that? I don't understand. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm imagining him as like a teenager in Mad Men. Like a little yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you yeah, said like, your food wanted to function the way well, that adults I'm, Like, I'm talking eight, seven, eight. I'm talking young. He's like, yeah, let's yeah, play yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Give me like signs in the Like you ate rolls with a fork steakhouse. and knife? What do you mean? <laughs> Not like with a fork and knife. But like, I liked, okay, so like one, one version of this was having a supply of food that I could go to when I chose to go to it. Like a Being humidor? able to eat some Rolos okay. and have some in my room. Put them away for later. Because like a grown-up would have his own food to go to. <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing was, yes, any snack that resembled like adult food. Like like sometimes we get these like, I don't remember what the hell they were. They were like they were like veggie rolls or something. And they were like, they looked like mozzarella sticks, but they had like vegetables inside of them. I don't Spring know. roll? It was, no, it wasn't that. It was like. It it was like literally looking like a mozzarella stick, but it had like chopped vegetables. I don't I don't even know what the mm. hell they were. But anyway, we used to eat those sometimes as kids. Like that felt like like adult food to me. Yeah, didn't feel like a kid's food. It was like it felt sophisticated. Okay, can I? So anyway, go ahead. I was gonna say one of the things that I would say about Rolo over Butterfinger specifically is I like to freeze my candy. I like my candy cold. I like a cold. You know candy what? bar, I and I do you, not you like swaying me back to Rolo. I don't like a frozen Butterfinger because actually the consumption is I, it's better for me to consume a Rolo. You pop one in. I, I'm a big proponent of let it melt in your mouth. Yeah, I really am. What, what's so funny about that? <laughs> what? Just something you go to a lot. You twist it around in your hand. You put it in the side of your mouth. You yes. Let it yes. Yeah, yes. I like it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's like a, now, way. but also too back in the day. The I Rolos young, were individually wrapped like Sometimes. that. I mean, look, it looks like gold. Yeah. yeah. It looks like you you found a treasure of some kind. I, well, the thing is, like, you know, I like the, I like peanut butter. Yeah, I got to go back to Rolo, yeah. actually. I, Butterfinger is always a sticky, like a mess to me. It's, it's, it's just a mess. And it doesn't, after I eat the Butterfinger, I'm, I'm, I'm all good about halfway through. And then afterwards, I'm like, really, I got to do work on my teeth. Like yeah, I'm some type of hygienist. peanut brittly, like weird goo. And also, Bart Simpson was the Brittle. first Joe Camel of my life where I ate Butterfinger strictly because Bart was pushing it. Yeah. And then I ate it. And I'm like, I hate and this And we all shit saw what he ended up. But you're team Butterfinger. You can't He's leave. garbage. No, I know. But I'm really, right? I mean, I'm just attaching it because it's really yours. I'm detaching it for the sake of, oh, no, for the win and loss, no problem. I get it. Are you, or, or were you, or were you not saying that to, before we started the battle? I, I forgot that it would, this would incur a win or loss. So I was just like, I'll take this one. But as you're talking, I'm getting convinced. Rolo, neither one my candy. Rolos so. are prone to melt faster, though. They didn't. They, it wasn't that hard. Kind of yeah. like I remember it getting kind of like you to get a little schmutz. On Can your I say this actually? Yes. Maybe just to, to set a thing going forward too, because this happened last time too. It's hard to take one that I didn't want to begin with and then get a loss from it. So I think in the future, like or even now, if you're will, willing, if you're to make it, let's just talk about it. But it's a it's not a battle that has a win or a loss to it. That's fine. The yeah. only problem we'll run into is is if we do a bracket and you have too many losses, then you end up sitting out the. I would cross the bridge. But yeah, I mean, look, right now, if you don't want to take an L on Butterfinger, that's fine. 
Yeah, I, I, I truly I don't, don't know who's going to win. Because I could defend but, either. But Butterfinger might win, I, but I still don't need the win either because it's not my candy. So I think Mike's making some great points about Rolos that I did not think of. Uh, I love it. And, you know, we're saying a lot less about Butterfingers. It yeah. sounds like we're all team Rolo at this I just, point. I just realized that after I'm, team I'm, not after I'm done with a Butterfinger, I, I realized that, like, it's there's like this annoying whole thing that has to happen afterward where I'm getting that stuff out of my teeth. Yeah. The Butterfinger is great. I would argue almost that the Fifth Avenue is the superior version of the Butterfinger. Fifth Avenue. Same thing. That's the Cadillac of Butterfingers. The Fifth Avenue? Yeah, Fifth Avenue. You don't remember Fifth Avenue? Maybe, maybe they were see really it. good. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. It was, but it was Butterfinger. It was there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I tell you real quick before we move on? I had a job in college at Manchester Candy and Tobacco. It was literally a warehouse with no windows and a slow ceiling fan. And my job was to take boxes and fill orders for like grocery stores and convenience stores around the area. So I'd walk up aisles of cigarettes and candy. That's literally all we sold. Oh, wow. And they had all these boxes of like you know bad candy or whatever. It was like a day expired, and we would just take home. Literal like wow. full boxes of all the that candy. Like, that it sounds we like wanted. a child's dream. It wow. was in college, so we would. Just, I'd come home and just like dump like hundreds of candy bars Jesus. out, and just, literally it just rained. I traded candy for weed many times. Wow! But it was interesting because wow. I went through a lot of these that I never. Who I was would Snickers trade weed and, away for candy. Well, you know when people get stoned. Yeah, you know the people like, that had the weed oh, really want the candy. <laughs> Like yeah, right. Uh, Literally, yeah. I just give me timed another bong it. Hut hit and here's it. Yeah, and I would just yeah. time my delivery of the candy to like when they were leaving. I mean, then, someone that's high is literally like, I'll give you anything. For that candy. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. But, All right. Let's. Oh, sorry. No, no. I would just okay. say Rolo is like that. That's Gosh. what I had those. So down, what do you want? But, do you want to just keep Butterfinger and we do a win loss? You want to just let it go? Wait, say again. Do you want me to keep Butterfinger and it'll count as win loss? No, it doesn't have to count as a win loss. I'm Because it can win too, but that's what I'm saying. I don't even care about the win. I think it's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can keep it. Yeah. Yeah, Neutral. That's fair. Okay, so we got over 4,000 votes. I think Butterfinger's going to (laughs) win. I don't know. I'm glad we both. If Lolo goes into the final, I thought it was going to be the last seed. Folks, prize picks. It's a fun. A fun name to say, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. We're going to call it DFS from here on out. Uh, it's the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. Uh, why? Because it's just you against the numbers. You're not playing against other people. Because when you play against other people, sometimes there's pros in there, there's sharks in there. And worst of all, there's other people in there. I don't want to play against other people. Uh, you simply pick more than or less than on a two- to six-player stat projection, and watch the winnings roll in. That's it. It's easy. Uh, you can play alongside other people. This is a new feature they have. Uh, if you want to play alongside Prize Picks' favorite players, like rapper Meek Mill uh, or comedian Andrew Schultz, buddy of ours, uh, you can now find community plays under the promo tab of the app and view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Pick community each week. Prize Pick even offers a reboot policy so that if your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. That's it. You stay in play even if one of your entries gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return to the second, the player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only DFS platform with an injury insurance policy. Folks, what can I say? Even a guy like me who doesn't understand sports understands how good this is. So go to prizepicks.com slash taste buds. Use code taste buds for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Again, prize pick prize picks. Again, prizepicks.com slash taste buds and use code taste buds for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Dollars. Prize picks. Folks, Joe DeRosa here. I got some live dates coming up I'd like to tell you about. Why not? Uh, I'm doing a special show on November 9th at the KGB Bar in New York City as part of the New York Comedy Festival. The show is called Selected Readings, where I'm going to be reading excerpts from my audio book, The Penthouse Papers, released on uh, a special thing, Records. And I'm also going to be reading some other stuff I've had published over the years. I'm looking forward to that. Then I'm hitting the big open road, getting out of my own town where I live, and I'm coming to you with what? I never promised you a rose garden. Live, the new hour, 
Very proud of this show. November 11th, hitting Philadelphia, PA, Theater of the Living Arts. November 17th, Pittsburgh, PA, at Bottle Rocket Social Hall. November 18th, Buffalo, New York, Theater at Seneca One. The 30th of November, Denver, Colorado at the Summit. December 1st, Phoenix, Arizona at the Crescent Ballroom. And December 3rd, Salt Lake City, Utah at the Soundwell. Folks, we're adding dates all the time. But for these dates and ones we might add later, you can go to joederosa.com for ticket links and show information. And of course, if you are in New York City and you want to check out my establishment, Joey Roses, come on down. We're open seven days a week, 1130 a.m., Every day we open those doors for affordable booze and delicious affordable sandwiches. JoeyRosesNYC.com. What's up, guys? Real quick, tour dates are on sale right now at SalVolcanoComedy.com. There's a big Illinois run in November leading up to my comedy special at the Vic in Chicago on December 1st and 2nd. I think Rolo, I don't know, let's see. Ooh, oh, okay. all right. Wow. I so Butterfinger... I feel like Butterfinger was just more in your face a lot as a kid. Like, I feel like you had to seek out Rolo. Yeah. You know what I mean? I That's remember, why I like, thought when Junior Mintz was going to be aisle. Rolo. Now, here's right. the problem. So, for the listeners. Here's the problem. Yeah. If Crunch goes to the finals now, I'm, I'm happily taking Butterfinger. If Milky Way goes to the finals, yeah, I don't, I don't really we got know. a little predicament here. I don't right? know what to do. All right. I would take, out of those two, I would take probably take Butterfinger, but I don't really care. Uh, okay. But just for the, for the listeners, Butterfinger won decisively. An even sixty yeah. percent to Rolo's forty percent. That's insane. Butterfinger is like way more popular than I think. Things? Maybe it is. I think we're not giving it enough. Butterfinger was the Simpsons. Bart Simpson sold Butterfinger. Yeah, Nobody and it also it finger on my Butterfinger. Oh, yeah. it, it also had a. It was one, it's one it. of the candy bars that still you, the campaign resonates. I don't remember seeing Rolo's at the at the checkout. Yeah. To be honest with you, I always got mine in the Seven Eleven candy aisle. Yeah, that's always where. But I got all my candy at Seven Eleven. My dad would. It was like a special trip. Like when it was time that you were allowed to have candy, it, we, we would go to Seven Eleven, and I could go down the candy aisle and pick like three things. But that was like once a week. The little things in life. It is the little yeah, things. Yeah, I know. Um, and then my cousin once got a Slurpee as one of his things, <laughs> and I cry. I cr- <laughs> You were allowed to get three packages of candy? You could get three things. That you were allowed to consume that day as well? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. That's lax. It was like one, but it was like, it was like child fr- abuse. Friday night, like, <laughs> it was like Friday, like, we're going to rent movies. Bouncing off the wall. Okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, I gotcha. So, uh, <laughs> but is it shared? No, it was just, you'd, you'd, get, you'd each get three. See, right. so that's why, so when you went, got Rolos, did you go, go Rolos then? A lot because of times I would go Rolos. You'd get more than three. Yeah. Technically. That, see, that was exactly. I was always thinking you were a bang for the back buck. Then. Yeah. But I remember once we did it and my cousin got a Slurpee as one of his things and I cried because I was like, I should have got a Slurpee. And then my dad, <laughs> my dad pulled me aside and he goes, just think about it like this. You're going to have some left over tomorrow. That's going to be all gone right, right away. And then I cried because I felt sorry for my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> what an empath. You were crying no matter what that what day. What a mess. Yeah. <laughs> if I got three things, yeah. it would have been a newspaper, a black coffee, and a pack of cigarettes when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You were a, co- a coffee drinker as a kid? Yeah. Oh, and I, I, yeah. I didn't drink coffee until I, I was like... I used to My love first cup it. was like at 18, and, and I still don't And you want to know how I learned drink. I like coffee? My, my grandmother used to have the, the Italian cookies you dunk in coffee. What, the S's? And I the used Saladoros? to eat those, and those oh, made me like coffee. Yeah. I just thought it was par for the course. Yeah, they're coffee you know? treats. But that was like taking a sip off a of beer when I was a kid. It was like, also, you know, grandma's yeah, coffee. Yeah, I used to, my mom used to make me, when I was little, she'd make me, like I wouldn't drink the coffee, but she'd make me a cup with cream and sugar in it and then make me toast with butter and you dunk the, the toast of butter in. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Oh, yeah, so good. Good. so good. So good. All oh. right, so so, All right. so this next one here, we're going to just get through these. It's Nestle Crunch versus Milky Way. Nestle Crunch is my only candy remaining. Um, I do you think Nestle Crunch is going to win uh, this battle? Uh, there is how many votes? Seven? 4,000? I bet you it hits 4,000 before 4, we're 4, done. 4,000. Let's read some phones. Nest, uh, is this a trick? Milky Way is no treat. A uh, couple of powerhouses. I'm, not, I'm giving the nod to Milky Way. Ugh. I feel bad for voting against Milky Way, but I truly like both. Nestle Crunch. Love those little chocolate rice. Things uh, pick for the Milky Way. Nestle Crunch is like when white people add pepper to chicken and make it, to make it spicy. That's funny. Uh, see, this is what I was saying about yeah. Crunch Bar. It is 
it like many of the foods we discuss, it has dropped off. I would say that for everything these days, though. So, but can I tell you one of the reasons why Did I you, would prefer yeah. Nestle Crunch? Why? Because I'm a weirdo where I want to like put stuff on stuff. So I would dip into peanut butter with a Nestle Crunch bar because it's more of like a spoon. That's admirable. Than like I'm not going to dip a. You know what I mean? I'm not going to dip a no, I like way that. into I like that. It's ambitious. Yeah, it, it is. And I just feel like it's a vehicle for another thing to eat. Wild. You were creating your own candy. I moved a lot when I was a child. So I just tried to find my joy when I could. You know what I That's mean? So wild. eat all of everything you can before someone takes it. If you would have thrown, uh, thrown some peanut butter in there, I think you would have had yourself a homemade whatchamacallit, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Look at this statement. This is very important. Okay. Very relevant. Milky Way is the poor man's three musketeers. That is crazy to me. Also, was it cheaper? No, but we, we, we described what this was. I thought three musketeers was the low end of that ladder. Because He's saying Milky Ways is the poor man's three musketeers. He's saying milk three musketeers is superior to the Milky no, he's Way. he's wrong. Th that's what I'm saying. That's an insane it's, thing it, to all, say. All Milky Way is is a three musketeers with caramel. It's a little more than that, but, you know, uh, <laughs> you know but, but, but that's crazy. I, I don't understand how somebody would look at a Three Musketeers as the superior of anything. Well, he's he's all, he's wrong. That's why I love well, I, except Milky the Almond Way. Joy, which I argue they're, they're changing the song. They went the Nestle Crunch song with Milky Way at the end. <clears throat> uh, all right. What, do you have anything to 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 argue about past what you said about dunking into the peanut butter? I'm a crunch guy. I like the crunch. I like different consistencies. I like a crunch. I like a snap. I like Rice Krispies for that reason. Uh, I, Nestle Crunch is mine. Right, Nestle up, Crunch 100% is chocolate-covered styrofoam packaging. I like a crunch I, You bar. know, I agree with what one of the pers people said earlier. It's Nestle Crunch at one point was a crispy, crunchy, kind of <laughs> poppy experience, and it fell off. It's just I chewy. It's like st the, steer the cereal in it now feels st almost stale to me. Like it's like it the crunch part is gone. It's and just like oh, well, that's it's everything, right? I just read yeah. anyone right. who enjoys Milky Way should be put on a watch list. I thought that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I I don't get this. Nougat, nougat is a horrifying proposition, and it needs other junk to back it up. Yeah, but but that I can't stress this enough. Just because it's not awesome by itself doesn't mean it's not a valuable ingredient. It's like saying it's like if saying eating ketchup straight is disgusting. No shit. But if Put I didn't it on fries though, but if right, I didn't have a if I didn't have nougat for the rest of my life, I wouldn't care. I could sacrifice nougat in my life. And also, it's my least favorite ingredient in any candy bar. What is the cousin? I'm not saying it's I, I can't eat it, but like it's it does nothing. What for is me. the cousin of nougat? Is butterscotch the cousin of nougat? Is caramel the cousin of nougat? No, we I'm actually used looked this up is. once. We looked it is up hazelnut, once. Like what is? It's it? like a malt. I think it's malt flavor. It's fun to say. It is a great word. Nougat. I'll, I'll yeah. say nougat all day long, but I don't like. Yeah, it. I believe it's malt flavor. Malt nougat flavor. Well, like whoppers or malt nougat. malt balls are called. That's nougat. the kind of candy. Malt balls. That that flavor is nougat. nougat. The, the malt part. Really? Nougat. I never would have. I, I never would have called malt balls nougaty. 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 I just uh, don't know what it is. Nougaty. It's even more fun than nougat. Nougaty. Should we? Let's go. Where you going, babe? Where you going on this? Nestle Bim's Crunch. Going crunch. Nestle Crunch. Nestle 4, Crunch. Four thousand votes ish. Oh my oh. God! Wow. Remember, remember, this goes down to decimal places, which means that it's the second dead heat in the history of wow. Taste Buds. The other, the only other dead heat was about two years ago. Was egg salad versus uh, versus tuna salad. Wait, tell the it. audience what happened. We just got up and took a lap because why is Nestle Crunch? Oh, that's what you voted for. Okay, this remember this goes down to the tenth of a point, right? Yes. The tenth of a point. This is fifty point zero to fifty wow. point zero after three thousand eight hundred and ninety one votes. A complete dead on tie. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do either. I don't know Should what to I go do. On and vote? Do you know? <laughs> do you know also what this means? I mean, it's this is down to the hundred. It's fifty point zero. I know versus fifty point zero. I know. I, that I'm has shocked. never happened. That's happened I'm one shocked. time. What was the other thing that happened with? I forget. Egg salad versus. Oh, tuna did you just salad. say that? Yeah. I didn't hear you say it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was laughing when you said it. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, uh, do you also realize I, what I this don't know means? What to do. do you realize what this means? Why? Butterfinger just took the candy bracket. <laughs> Butterfinger just oh, won. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, oh, well, we can't. It, nah, that doesn't count. We can't. We 
It's initial. It's the first thing. Yeah, but it's a tie. I don't know. I, I yeah, think that was shipping everybody both. out of a final battle. Do you want to do this? Do you want to put a pin in it and then let this run its 24-hour poll course? And then in the next episode, we'll just do a yeah, quick finale. And there was we'll do a quick finale to start the app, but we'll still have another Okay, so another this battle. is what we're going to do. This is what I think we should do. Yeah. Butterfinger, let's name it. It is one. The It is one. Okay? But hear, hear me out. Hear me out. We also put a pin in the one of the potato battles because it was so close. Remember, we threw one up late. But I want to see the winner of this first Butterfinger. What, what I'm well, okay, because what I was going to say is, is is we should do an episode where we do the two dead heat from the tournaments. This one and the one that there was one from potatoes it that was, was so close, close like that we thousand. said let it run twenty four hours and then we'll see where it's yeah, at. Yeah, and we also we could also revisit. We can do the the uh, one episode with the three basically fifty fifties. Okay, and we we could just we could do that to sort it out. But what I think we should do here is I think Butterfinger is in the finals. I think we let this run its twenty four hour poll, and if it's fifty fifty at the end of twenty four hours, Butterfinger's I mean Butterfinger wins. But if not, I think we pick this up um, in the next episode. We start with it. We get the champ out, and then we still do whatever. So we then, need how next. how much of a disparity between percentages need does needs to if be there's there. any. Well, but I'm saying if we come back at 24 hours and it's that, you're saying you're, you're going to take that and say 50.1 Milky Way I goes? Mean, I guess it's a, it's a win, I guess, right? I, mean, I was going to say like there, we, we, 3%, maybe well, even well, what two. do we do if uh, then it's just Butterfinger? I don't, I, I, How about it's got to be above 0.5% of a difference? Okay, but, I, but right? I, don't you want to see one of these then battle? It's so interesting to me now. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm just saying if we come back in 24 hours and it's still that. Oh, I got an idea. That, I got like, an idea. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but check this out. If we come back in 24 hours, and this is within this close, of it, why don't we do just for the fun of it, just to see? We'll do Butterfinger versus each of them. Okay. Or we could do a three-way poll for the champ. Put all three in the poll. Okay, that's that's how you should do it. Okay. If it's still too close, or you could just say, "Look, whatever the winner is, the winner is," and we, you know. Yeah. Unless, well, I mean, yeah, if, I mean, if it's 50 50, then we do a three way. But if it's if it's 50.1, 50, 50. it's 50.1. And then what happens is that face is Butterfinger. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll finalize it. We'll name the champ in the next app. Okay. That sounds good. When's your special come out? November 9th. Right now it's out at 800pgm.com. You can pay what you want. Uh, November 9th, it's free on YouTube. You can enjoy all three of these candies while you click view <laughs> and subscribe on YouTube. At M I K E F I N O I A. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we both still love each other. I don't know what's yeah. happening here. We love each other. All right, we love, love each love other. Stay tuned right. for the next step. Bye. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the.